Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Next Evo for sponsoring today's episode. Somebody once told me the world was gonna <laughs> love oh my God. me. Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. What is up today? We're re-entering the Shrek universe. Yeah. We're talking oh buddy. about Puss in Boots oh 2. my God. The last Let's go. Wish. <sighs> I am so fucking hyped for this goddamn yeah. movie, dog. This might be the biggest movie this for might Derek. Be, this might be the biggest one. This might be the biggest one. The episode. And the most excited that you guys will see me yes. <laughs> in Ever. general. I have watched this movie three times. Three Shut times. the fuck up. Since the, the, the one time it was assigned. A yeah. week ago, I have watched it three, three times. times. Dedication. I, I, right? As soon as I got back home, I was like, to my girlfriend, we need to watch this movie. <laughs> the next day, we watched this movie. I went to all of my group texts and I was like, have y'all seen Puss in Boots? Have y'all seen Puss in Boots? Have y'all seen Puss in Boots? And whoever said they hadn't seen it with the most the most amount of responses of we hadn't seen it, that group gets me to their house wow, to watch Puss in Boots. Wow, an exclusive appearance by Rickety Smith? I didn't put it as that, but essentially, <laughs> yes. Wow. So, dear audience listening, if you tell Garrick that you haven't seen Puss in Boots, he will come, come to, your, to house. your house. Come to your house. <laughs> I will pay the rental fee Whoa. and we will watch it together as a family. That's a heck of an offer. Rent? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, please welcome to Garrick's special day. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, special and day. welcome back to the podcast returning champion, Jax Films. Hello, hey, Jack. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. This is, as you said, a landmark uh, <laughs> podcast episode because yeah. boy, boy, do I have S- stuff to say for Puss in Boots. Oh my God. Do. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I, I don't know where to begin. What an exciting right? audience. Dude. I just want to tell you buckle the fuck up. Yeah. Buckle up. Put on your push strap. Not even. Because we are Put on your ready boots. to. Ru- yeah, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Put, Put on, on your, your boots. Push strap. Lace in what those boots. <laughs> Fucking underwear, put on your pussy straps. Yeah. That's it's a great a, nickname. It's a guard underwear. Underwear. Oh my God. Yeah. What? Pussy straps? Pussy yeah. straps. Push yeah. strap. Uh, if we could, though, real quick, before okay. we dive into the puss, uh, there's an important update. Jack, please. Jack, please. Jack, please. Jack, please. Can you just be quiet you for just one hold? moment? Can you, you hold? Just pause. Pretend you're not here. I'm going to try. Jack, please. For weeks, we have been talking yes. to Crocs. Uh, Kelsey got me a gift. We opened the box. There was one, one croc. croc. One These were exclusive. I'm sorry. What? A one of croc. a kind croc. They're right here. They are the <laughs> most ugly thing. The most <laughs> okay, okay, you're not going to disrespect the croc. No, they're we so got, cool. They but matching. that's what makes them cool is we that they're like, they're so aggressive yeah. and mutated that's a word, sure. yes. and wonderful. And so we, dear For guilty weeks. whores, you, you went out you there into the world. You talked to Crocs, and Crocs DM'd me, <gasps> and they said, "Zach, my boy, we want you your feet to look like little <laughs> mutant babies." <laughs> and <laughs> so Crocs said, "We have bad news. We are out of that color." That's how exclusive my taste is. Oh my god! So we're gonna send you them in green, wow. baby. Yeah. We got wow. them, but Crocs didn't stop there. They said, we're going to send them to you in white purple. So I now, poor Maggie, I have now two and a half pairs of these shoes. Thank you, Crocs. Thank you, Guilty Horse. You made dreams come true. I got you the green ones, didn't I? No, I got you orange. Yeah, orange. Yeah. I got them in in Laker colors. And I'm starting the episode with that. So you know this is about to be lit as fuck. Our prayers have been answered. We can finally put that controversy to rest. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Jack, we uh, invited you here for a couple reasons, but you have been kind of the the flag bearer for the Shrek franchise. Oh, for, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, for years and years. I'm sorry. It's well worth it. I don't know. No, it's it just it's well like, worth okay, it. Okay. Cool. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm sorry as a repeat of what oh, you just okay. said. And then also, I'm sorry as, are you fucking kidding me? I, I don't. <laughs> any of the Shrek films that had been popular besides the first one and then now this. And oh, the we'll, second, we'll second one. one. One, we'll of, the oh one of the best sequels of all time. One of the greatest sequels of all time. <laughs> if, if, if we weren't talking about the sequel to another sequel in the fucking fr- Shrek franchise. Right. A sequel of a sequel. 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 A sequel. 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 sequel, sequel, yeah. sequel. Has this ever been done? A sequel, it's a sequel, sequel to a spinoff of a franchise right. in which the character was introduced in, in the, the sequel. sequel. That's it would be like if they did a Hobbs session. and Shaw sequel kind of thing where yeah. the spinoff gets its right. own franchise. And I got to say, so when the first Puss, Puss in Boots came out <laughs> 10 years ago, yeah, as the first I give a out. shit. Like, yeah. like nobody it, saw that. No one cared. Yeah. But it was also good. I, I I saw the first one. It okay. was pretty. It this was is solid. Garrick's big day. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. The first one was solid. The first okay. one was like a, a Garrick, an, an I actually, love you. 
No one agrees with that. <laughs> I, I, it was medio. It was mid. I as okay. F. Okay. I uh, in in as I say in the sphere of. We are looking at a spinoff from a Shrek fran franchise, right. and we're looking at the spinoff of something that is also kind of like dying at that point. Yes, sure. This was solid. So, okay, okay. how is it? Okay, because we have Shrek 1 and Shrek 2 are yeah. like S tier, Top right? Tier. Correct. Yeah. Puss in Boots 2, I'm going to just spoil alert, S tier. S tier. Yeah. Uh, Shrek 3 is where it went off the rails, yeah. and did they, they, make, they made Shrek Forever after, right? Yeah. yeah. So, that's a B. So, where is, where is uh, Puss in Boots? Puss in Boots C. is a C. Yeah. Is below it's Shrek bo Forever After? So we agree. It's a yeah, C. Yeah, yeah no, it's a C movie. Okay. Mm, that's rough. I thought it was like solid. I thought it was yeah. solid. Okay. We just like, Did you watch it like right before the sec the Pussy No, no, no. I watched this we when it came out. Like okay. almost around oh, the time okay. when it came out. Because okay. I was just like, it, it's a good, like, it's a solid airplane movie, if uh -huh, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Sure, totally. Yeah. It, it introduced a little cat that's like, ooh, and which is it had like a mm -hmm. nice little callback in the second one. And then that was enough. And then Kitty Saw. Kitty Saw falls her whole like trajectory, right. the whole story of just like her not trusting people because her previous owners uh, declawed her, and that was oh, like it, it's like a devastating a thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's my. Let's get back to. <laughs> right. So Jack, I mean, I know that you have been waving the flag, beating your chest for Shrek Five for years. Like, T almost tell us a decade. about that. Yeah. I don't so think like, they know. I've just had this dumb inside joke on my YouTube channel, Jack's Films, where Good since plug. like tw 2015, 2016, I've just been like, uh, hey, when's Shrek 5 coming out? Ha <laughs> ha. And it was one of those things where it just started <laughs> off as like a little shit post. And now it's evolved into like this huge, you know, um, movement now oh. on, on my ecosystem, my, my channel, right. as it were. And to the point where like I sing songs about it now, like it's a fucking thing. Yeah. Wow. It's like, and do I actually it's care? It's become part of your life. It's become yeah. part of my life. And yeah. it's like kind of a, you know, it's a it's a real life shit post. It's like, do I really care so much about a fifth Shrek movie? Not terribly, but now I do. Now After you seeing do. Puss in Boots too. It's Absolutely. like. That's a fucking loop. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. let's fucking do it. Because. And let's. Yeah. And let's do it up, baby. <laughs> let's fucking do it up. We, I mean, Spider-Verse has shifted animation right. as yeah. a yes, whole. Yes, 100%. Shifted it completely. And I'm not. Okay. This is not me touting my own horn. This is me telling you things that have happened in my life. I had a general role at um at uh, Sony Animation. Woo, yeah, you did. Before Let's go, before Rick. Spider Verse, boys, Hollywood. Yes. Before uh, Spider Verse came out, big boy. And I talked to the boy. person I was talking to, um, and he was like, "Hey, man, I I know that this was like a meeting about like you know animation, what you're interested in, but w this Spider Man movie coming out." I feel like is going to change people's lives. Yes. We have then had to go back through our um, animation catalog that is coming out and shift that oh, wow. oh. in order to um, make a pave a way and make a way for this new era of animation it, that it was we a are paradigm introducing. shift. They mm -hmm. fucking knew it when it when it was wow. when it was shown That's some to good them. Foresight. And they were like, we need to shift our things and we need to make San Sony animation look like this. And then it came out and it fucking blew up. Right. And then everything past that has made its damnness attempt to look like it. Yes. So no, cool. I'm sorry. And so when this movie came out and I saw like the the frame rate stuff, I was like, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, we're, we're, we're back at it, baby. And right. if Shrek 5 looks like this, I'm all in. I, what, if they do that same visual... Absolutely. aspect of course absolutely because it needs a shift because dreamworks has needed a shift yeah um because when you go back and rewatch the first puss in boots and the yeah. egg character th there, there's a very it's just it's a dated outdated yeah. aesthetic style that dreamworks held on to for the first you know four shrek movies I mean, back when it wasn't outdated but like now you just can't yeah you can't do it it's it's pixar pixar has has like yeah. had its its fucking balls steeped in 3d animation i feel yeah. like for <laughs> forever since I, I don't, I don't As know. As a tea connoisseur, you like that it's one. Balls steeped in. I just imagined you dipping your balls oh, into it's a tea. Oh, it's it's uh, you absolutely you have that wrong. Yeah. It is not me. It is the lamp that jumps on the eye, having its balls <laughs> steeped in a teacup of animation. It. Is that what that symbolizes? That's I never what knew. Yeah. Wow. I never knew. But yeah, it's 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 what they did for animation is what Spider Verse is doing for animation now. Yep. And Absolutely. it's fucking crazy that Sony did that. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's very but, cool. Let's, let's, okay, the makers so, of the Emoji Movie or the producers the behind producer it. You know, <laughs> it is weird when you yeah. think about it. Yeah. So we've gone too far into this episode to not do a synopsis. So yes. let's, ah. let's hit it with oh, that. Yeah. And then we'll come back yeah, for, for a little more. So sorry. Put
Puss is back. <laughs> wow. Everyone's favorite feline adventurer. He's Zoro with a tail. Antonio Banderas mm. is Puss in Boots. And he has been evading death for years. But it turns out our little feline friend is on his, his eighth and final life. Puss Ninth. will die. Is, well, wait. No, Ninth and final life. Oh, he's on it because he, he has ha- nine he lives. Just, yeah. I was thinking that he's died he's eight times. He's, he's died eight times. Gary, thank you so much. I'm he's on his final on life. His eighth death, essentially. As eighth thank yeah. you. Yes. So and there. this is a film in which Puss, a, t- a animated cat, is fighting death itself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So cool. Yes. And so Puss is trying to find a mythical star. Yep. You have a bunch of other characters, kind of in a, a almost No Country for Old Men esque format. Yes, uh, a little bit, very a lot of Western influences drawing on, where they're all trying to get this mythical treasure so that they can get one wish, wish upon so that, a star, wi- so that Puss can wish for more lives. Mm. This is mm. the most fire fucking movie. <laughs> This is Puss in Boots, oh. The Last Wish. Yes. Oh, my God. Just and we watched it all together. We well, the three Jack, of us. Sorry. We, we did. didn't know you were going to be here. We would have saved. Would have loved the invite. That's yeah, yeah. We, 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 next time we'll save space on the couch. But it was me, you, Rick, my roommate, Florence. My and roommate, Maggie. Your roommate, Maggie. <laughs> yep. And I'm not going to lie. I came over to your house thinking I was going to take a nap. Yeah. I thought I'm going to cuddle with Bowie on the floor. We're going to order in some food. I'll yuck, yuck here and there to think I'm interested in this. I was glued to the fucking screen. Absolutely. We all were in our own element <laughs> having a spiritual experience. Yeah. We did not speak. We did not talk over the film. We did not pause to pee. The only t- the times we've talked over it were us going, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, Ten my God. Ten minutes into the movie, yeah. Zach quietly says to the group, I think this is the best movie I've, I've ever seen ever in my seen. life. <laughs> I so it, enough people have I, I like posted about it on on IG and enough people like hit me up to be like, why would anybody watch this movie? Wow. Fuck you. What is this movie about? And I just this one what person I had a, a whole conversation about with um, the catalyst of that conversation is them saying, what is this movie about? And I was like mortality <laughs> because Your essentially it's like wh- how is it about how could it possibly about be about mortality it is a thousand percent about looking at death and the, the fact face. that we're all we're all getting die. ready to die it um okay a little bit more about the experience kelsey came over and was like oh we have to watch this shitty movie for the I show hate it when they do this and, to me and Garrick was Garrick and I were like oh this isn't for guilty pleasures we're, <laughs> yeah. yeah we're just we're, yeah. watching I've heard it. and she's like much. what are you talking about if we're watching this we're doing an episode and I'm like no we just I I saw one clip on Twitter yeah. which is an action scene from the opening of the movie yep. and yeah. I it took my breath away yeah. and I said gang we're getting together yeah. and we're watching this. And you're the the look on Kelsey's face when she realized that this was something that we genuinely thought was yeah. gonna be awesome. I wish I could bottle that. It, and then of course we followed it up. Yeah. yeah. She was so disappointed in us. <laughs> yeah. She was like, You're supposed to be my good boys. Yeah, my good you're boys. You're supposed to be my, my boys. Film bros. My film bros who my like artists. Why are we watching this fucking children? <laughs> why are we watching this <laughs> yes. children's? Flick. Again, I've only seen Shrek One and I think some of Shrek Two High. But I don't blame high. you because it's the sequel to an eleven-year-old movie nobody asked for. Right. So no, like when right. I when they announced this in like last January of twenty twenty-two, I was pissed. Like, I was why? like, "What a fucking cock tease! I want Shrek Five. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants Puss in Boots too. Fuck you!" Yeah. And then a year later, I am eating my words with salt and pepper. Ooh, yeah. delicious! Yum. It's Ooh, seasoning. A perfect film. Oh, so you God. went. I know we were talking about this before. You kind of went as a bit. You saw it in theaters. <gasps> well, I only saw it because Lucky. I like first off, IGN gave it a nine. Rotten Tomatoes was like well in the nineties. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. I I guess I have to see the the fucking cat movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you I knew that it would be movie. good. Okay, cool. And I went in and it was Everybody, even better than I expected. I, I wish I would have seen this in theaters. I yeah. really do wish I would have seen it. Sharing that love oh, with my friends was Fellas. nice and you guys are special to me, but I think I'll go back a second time just for the yeah. for I would the, love that. For yeah. the yeah. little yeah. wine in you in the theater. Oh, it's an experience. If I have wine in me. Yeah. Someone call my mom. I, if I, I've relapsed. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm doing cocaine and going to the theater. <laughs> Better. To cocaine see this movie. It's yeah. a bunch of five year olds and Kelsey going, fuck you! Oh, 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 fuck you! Yeah. Oh, my God. The colors! <laughs> yeah. The colors! Oh my god, this on mushrooms or a little bit of acid. Oh, my God. We are, we are yeah. high watching this. And you were high. 
Oh, that sorry. just elevates. Zach it. and I were high. We got Din Tai Fung. Yeah, I was high on. Oh, dumplings. that's the best. Can yeah. you imagine a better night? Oh my god, it, it was raining. Yeah, Love one of the greatest decisions like the of my life. Night. I went to rent it, and it said for five dollars more, would you like to own it? And I said, you Fuck. bet your fucking ass, yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah. a steal. I and then steal. Maggie sat down and went, "We bought this." <laughs> it warrants repeat viewings. So I will watch it again. I know worth its weight in gold. Absolutely. You're gonna show your children this movie. Like this is one that outlive us all. It beats its own. It beats its own audience right now. Like the way it was made, the colors, the war. I beautiful. I told the boys. I wrote down five things. Normally, when we watch movies, we take a bunch of notes, write right. a bunch of jokes. I wrote five things down for this movie. It was: Is this cat hot? Yes. <laughs> wow, I feel good. <laughs> That's just the movie. <laughs> the, the villain is scary. Yeah. Is this a children's movie? Question <laughs> mark. Barely. And. The universe is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like I went through you an were ayahuasca on mushrooms. Yeah. experience. Yeah. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. I feel like I'm my best self when I'm talking to my friends about the movie we just watched. I'm just so clear headed and truly speaking my mind. There's no anxiety. It's just good, clean fun. But I don't always feel that way. So I have a therapist. I go to therapy all the time because I have too many voices in my head telling me to think about the oncoming apocalypse. Therapy is helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures today to get 10% off of your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash guilty pleasures. So we all know that wellness is much more than just nutrition and exercise. If you want to get to the next level of wellness, CBD can help. Next Evo Naturals developed SmartSorb technology, clinically proven to help your body absorb CBD four times better than regular CBD oil. So I have trouble sleeping and I take Next Evo Naturals just to get a good night's rest so that I can wake up the next morning feeling refreshed and ready to start the day. Most CBD oil found in tinctures, gummies, and capsules achieves between 2% and 10% absorption, which means at least 90% of what you think you're getting is actually wasted. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential. Try Next Evil Naturals capsules, gummies, mints, and topical creams with SmartSorb technology, clinically proven to be absorbed by your body. Get 20% off of your first order of $40 or more at nextevil.com slash podcast and use promo code guilty. That's 20% off at nextevo.com slash podcast, promo code guilty. I, I would Honestly, love to dive into that first question. Yeah. Is puss hot yeah that's a that's a question is. for the internet as a whole no i'll just say yeah hell yeah, yeah. yeah. he fucking is With and if you have you seen this the, movie have you seen the side-by-side -side comparisons of old puss and boots from like the old shrek films no. versus the new um stylized version because Body. it is a glow up the, <laughs> the eyes are greener they make it the face like cuter like the eyes are closer together because in the old the first four shrek films and the and the awful puss and boots film i'll say it, it's mid um <laughs> they make puss and boots more like realistic it's that it's that textbook DreamWorks <laughs> slash old Pixar real like photorealism that's not cute. It's just like, you know, look how impressive our animation is. And you can see all the texture and the whiskers. Side by side, compare that to the new updated Puss in Boots. So much more fuckable now. It's really it's way more fuckable. No. But like, I will say it's artistically like, um, how do I say this? Um, there's less detail um, because it's not necessary yeah and i mean like you know 4k yeah. 8k like it's, no you don't need that it's stylistic it's stylistic it's just like the frame rate drops yeah. to show that like storyboard like animation they do the same they take the same approach and you really don't notice it unless you see a side-by-side -side comparison rainy we've mentioned this twice now do you know when we say frame rate drops do you know what that means i wonder if we should explain that for the audience i can I'm, guess but no so uh what this movie does is similar to spider-verse which is probably the most famous example of it at this point uh, it mixes different frame rate styles. We talked about that a couple weeks ago with Avatar 2 and how he hated that. Yep. Hated this it. is the opposite and is used to phenomenal effect where in Spider-Verse it made it, gave it that comic booky feel. But in this, I don't know if they actually went from 24 down to 12 frames a second or what exactly it is. Right. But you'll kind of see almost a choppier motion 
where you're you're seeing the images still for longer than you normally would. So if you imagine a normal image that's 24 frames a second, this is 12. And so it has like that. Uh, uh, the uh, best uh, way uh. to describe it is those flip books you thumb through. Yes. If you're going fast, that's 24. That's a regular rate. And Love if you this. were to like half going through a flip book, that's what this yeah. fighting style it, looks but like. But now you're mixing that into worlds that have 24 frame animation around it. So yes. it draws your eye to specific elements. They have like onomatopoeia uh, built into right. the 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 images so like, like a comic book when someone gets hit there's a thong and you see it on the screen you have uh the background change color to emphasize it, it gives You're more horrible. of an oh, i love that moment <laughs> oh my god you give more of this emotional realism yeah. by heightening oh, the cricket, whole yes. world <laughs> <Took me> um <laughs> really fucking cool and again i mean garrick already talked about it beautifully with the spider-verse influence but yeah. this movie does it from the first it, scene all yeah, the way through and it's yeah. exhilarating it's, it's fantastic i and then I mean, we can talk about the animation all day, but I do truly believe that the story in this is yes. is, is just as good. When's the last time a villain's been this good in a I, DreamWorks movie? Okay, so I, I was going to bring this, this is up. One, this is maybe the best, and yes. I'm going to say this on the record. Yeah. I think this might be one of the best yeah. villains Animated. ever put and to it, screen. Ever. Oh, to screen, I'm not even, period. I'm not even, yeah, I mean... Name me you 10 villains. Yeah. I can yeah. name one, and it's um, Inglorious Bastards. Okay. That's yeah. the only villain yeah, the scary. I mean, look, there's obviously, you got Christoph Waltz and Inglorious Bastards. You got Darth Vader. You yeah. got Hannibal eh. Lecter. Yeah. And eh. I don't think that death in this will be as iconic, but he is, especially for the fact that this is a children's film, yeah. I mean, that maybe maybe not top 10, terror. but this is top tier he shit. Is, he is, I don't know where they drew influences yeah. for this character design. Forgetting getting Western. I do. You movie. do. Yeah. So what? What is it? Okay. Is it the, well, let's talk about him first. The, and then okay. I'll hit so you with it. again, I could fully talk about this dude for fifty minutes. Yeah. This is the scariest thing. It is. It it haunts my dreams. Um, uh, that I I feel like I've I, again seen in a film that is not a horror movie. Makes me straight scared out. of dogs. I'm scared of dogs. I'm I'm scared of wolves. I'm scared of whistling. Like <sighs> the fact that. Every time he's introduced, there is this eerie whistle that is from what what movie or I'll, I'll hit you yeah with it. it is it is just from a western and you just hear it and you're like what the fuck is about to happen the first time you hear it right and then you just see this ominous hulking mass of a wolf sitting right next to him and he's intimidating part and of what makes him so terrifying too so yes he signals yeah. his arrival yeah. with this whistle and it's a score. But it's also diegetic sound, right? It's in the universe. Yeah. He whistles. Puss can hear it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and it gives Puss panic attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, yeah it, it raises panic attacks. It, we'll it, have to it talk is, about that scene But it's too. also, he, the, he spent the first 10 movies, I mean, first 10 minutes of the movie explaining how he is fearless. So we're watching all of these Shrek movies, we're watching the first Puss in Boots movie. <laughs> Probably not, but I did. <laughs> And you're just like, oh, wow, this yeah, person. What can make this what can character. make him scared? What can actually make him have the hair on the on his body stand up like a cat? Like a cat. So, so you see, you hear the whistle, but then the way that this wolf also enters into scenes, he's silent and he just appears. Yeah. So the first time, Puss is sitting at a bar. He turns around. He sees nothing. Turns his body back, and in that motion. Whoosh, there's a reveal that now there is this giant wolf that is five times his size sitting next to him. Without a sound, without anything, it is, I mean, chills, yeah. right? That's enough. But then later, there's this one scene where he's running away from this crowd and just the crowd parts and... Whoosh, and he's right, right. there. He well, hears the whistle. Went, oh! Yeah, he hears he the, red he eyes. Hear the he whistle. He has, he has red eyes. His red eyes glare every time he fucking... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hello? God damn it. What's happening? God damn it. I'm in the middle of a podcast. He, loves, we're he deserves the world. Uh, and he's, it was such a scary I'm knock, too. <laughs> we were talking about such a scary character. <laughs> we're talking about a big bowl of popcorn. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. It's oh, a big that? bowl of popcorn. Jack, you what fucking is happening? bitch. I'm here with my buddy Jack, and he's... You're trying to make me embarrassed in front of uh, Keith just interrupted us to deliver me a gift for as part of a war that we're doing. It's a video you guys will see soon. I don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> the villain. 
The villain. That fucking bitch gave Hulking me a good mask. gift. Hulking uh, just this gigantic fucking wolf. Um, <laughs> that really changed the energy. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we got popcorn, though. We got a big matter. bowl of popcorn out of it. Yeah, um, every time he appears, the villain is horrifying. His design is terrifying. Scary. His weapons are dope. The yeah, action scythes, scene? Yeah, I love yeah that. he has two is fucking that what you scythes. Call them? Or, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the Grim Reaper's weapon. Or, no. But they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah the Grim, Grim Reaper. sea knives. <laughs> yeah. Question. Is there Curbs. a rubric for when when a villain is too scary, it's no longer G rated? Because I think I wondered what this line. was. Barani, can you look up what this movie's rated? I think it's PG. It's it got to be the line to me. Because one, the wolf is terrifying. Two, in the first fight scene, he cuts <laughs> Puss's head, and there's a close up of Puss's head and a trickle of red blood Blake. coming down. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah, scary. It is like there are stakes now. Rainy. Oh, it's PG. Okay. Again, yeah. um, when we're, we're talking about the previous Shrek films, this is the first time you see him act like a cat. Yeah. You see him act like something that would be afraid of something bigger than it and run away right. and and try to you know hide its fear essentially. Is the dog a metaphor for cancer? It's a metaphor for death. <laughs> His name is. Well, hold on. Hmm? Tell me why. Because cats get cancer. And I feel like the worst way Puss could go on his ninth life is not in some big battle, some you, big physical fight. It's kitty cancer. Did you have a cat that died of cancer? Maybe. Do you think that all cat that that's a very common thing? I think cats have nine lives. Yeah. Uh -huh. My cat has jumped out of a two story window and survived. That's cool. He's twelve. He's got wow. eight lives. Yeah. But the shit, kitty cancer, <laughs> kitty uh, like tumors, those are very. They come out of nowhere. Kitty, kitty's got to get their teeth removed. But he acts like a cat in this movie. Now I can't speak to the artist's intention, yeah. Yeah. nor will I uh, <laughs> try uh, to. <laughs> nor will I uh, diminish your reading of it. But yeah. no, I do not think it's a metaphor okay. for cat cancer. Okay. Um, he he literally says, "I'm death." Straight up, <laughs> yeah. you know, nothing metaphorical. Nothing. Right, yeah, he says all that too. Maybe yeah, it's yeah. meant to be interpreted individually. But did yeah. he say like, "I'm death"? Slash cancer. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I did not say Slash that. kitty cancer. But like also him being <laughs> him being Spanish is also oh, yeah. sick as fuck. Like it just being a full Spanish cast. Yeah, it's fun. Is so fun. It's we No, please. I, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No, what, what were you Derek saying? Derek will talk about this movie for fucking I ever. Know, yeah, you, someone you tweeted, it. Someone yeah. tweeted so us good. and said that we cut off Garrick too much, and I've been trying Who to... Who said that? I don't know. It made me sad. I've no, never okay. seen that tweet, so it obviously wasn't directed at me. And then someone was like, was like, maybe they hate Garrick. And I'm like, that is the least <laughs> yeah. true thing I've ever heard. We I like, like him Garrick more, more than, than ourselves. I'll say it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we talked about some of the, we mentioned the Western influences. Mm -hmm. And so you've got a lot in here. You, I mean, the structure is reminiscent of, um, uh, why am I blanking on his name? The Good and Bad, the Ugly, that director. Um, Ennio Morcioni is the composer, but that's not the director. It's reminiscent of Sergio Leone films. Uh, it has a little bit of uh, No Country for All Men structure, which again, in and of itself, is reminiscent of Western films. I'm not well-versed enough to tell you exactly what movies it's doing. Mm -hmm. Um You've got a straight up uh, uh, Mexican, uh, what is it called? Mexican standoff? Mexican Mexican standoff. Mexican standoff for the climax of the film where you have all the characters like ready to yeah. fucking do it. And they're like winking at each other. So and exhilarating. Raising each other's eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Not each other's eyebrows. Raising eyebrows at each other. <laughs> they come over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like to see. Yeah. 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 But my favorite reference was, as you alluded to, the wolf. Yeah. So that whistle is one of my favorite Westerns is this film called... Uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, and Charles Bronson is this renegade badass in it, and he signals his intro in ev Do you know this? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm stoked, Jack. He has this harmonica, and it is this eerie... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, you nailed it. That's perfect. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Zach is like pretending to play yeah, I'm pretending a harmonica. I'm harmonica. Yeah, and so you hear it, and all the characters in the scene will be like, what uh -oh. the fuck? And then they turn, and there's this guy with a harmonica. And in the film, I don't know if I want to spoil it. Well, I ain't going to see it. Yeah, I know you won't. Uh, it's, it's been around for a while. It's been around. Yeah, for, you've had your time. It's been around for 50 years. Uh, but it is revealed later in the film that he killed uh, the bad guy. The main bad guy killed Charles Bronson's brother. He put, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Charles Bronson had his younger brother standing on his shoulders with a noose around his neck. Oy. And he left him in the middle and was like, 
you're going to hold them up as long as you can. And when you can't, your brother's going to die. Jesus. And, and before he leaves, he sticks a harmonica in his brother's mouth. So that song that we've been listening to the entire film is the sound of his brother's exasperated death Sick. breath. And it is like this full circle death moment breath. where you that's, realize my that's fucking crazy. It is chilling yeah. to the core. And when I realized that Puss in motherfucking boots <laughs> was sending up that moment, I like my mm. brain, expl my head exploded. My brain wrapped inside out and wrapped around my body and then went back inside my asshole and mm. ripped back up through my head. And I just yeah. kept fucking like There's a butterfly. Name for that. Yeah. The fuck fountain. A fuck fountain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. just, it's so dope. Yeah. And that is the one thing that I had to say. And yeah. I will now yield the floor. <laughs> oh, it's just been a long time since like a movie like that made people feel like, it's been a long time since a DreamWorks movie made people feel like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe I, I think some of the more like how to t tame your dragon ones, like, you know, yeah. had a similar semi-mature kind of like tone to them. Like I, I never had an attachment to those movies. A lot of people do. But like this movie really kind of elevates I hate to say it, but it elevates the Shrek fan, the Shrek <laughs> franchise. Absolutely. A little bit. Oh, well, now, okay, so in the Shrek franchise, there was always like an adult undertone to yes. it. And usually that is with the humor where you're just like, okay, if the you're Mike an adult. The Mike Myers of it all. The Mike Myers of it all. And you're just like, but okay, the, this feels like. It's adult humor in the way of like, we know sex exists. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, oh, totally. so, uh, we had an SNL writer punch this up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, <laughs> great. We love that for you. This is so funny. Um, I can't believe I'm so excited that as a 13 year old, I am getting these jokes for 20 Eric, year you're olds. 32. I meant when I saw the oh, fucking okay. movie Sorry. the first time. Eric, do you not know that you're not 13? I, I, to I didn't himself know that. Every day. I'm actually, yeah, I do have to look at my ID all the time Mentally, to be like, oh my God, there. I am not 13. 13 going on 30 in my room. Oh God. Hey. Great film. Oh, that, now where's anyway, that way going yeah. back? I mean, that's a perfect transition to mortality. Um, we're all going to die eventually. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that um, having to fight a giant wolf at the end of our lives is the way to go. Oh, if only I Cancer. wish. Pick yeah. it up. Um, yeah. Can I give a pleasure? Yes. I had zero, like I said, zero stakes for this movie. I actually didn't want to watch it. Right. But I loved seeing a cat who was not like a cat, <laughs> be like a cat. <laughs> there is a point in the movie where Puss gets a number of a, a woman who takes care of cats in their end of year experience. Mm -hmm. Crazy cat lady. Crazy cat lady. I was not, I was avoiding saying it, but you're right. <laughs> Do you think that's offensive? <laughs> uh, to some cat people, it, it is. I, I mean, got two cats. They're 12. They're up some, there. Some cat the people, I mean, they don't have hundreds of cats. It's like clean the litter box. And you won't be a cat lady. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so Antonio <laughs> Benderas, pussy goes to kind of end of life himself and really, as they say, lets himself go. Right. He grows a very cute little beard, yeah. <laughs> which he keeps for the rest of the movie. Almost. Almost. He lets his fur grow out. Yep. He starts eating kibble, which, as we all know, is not the best for your kitty cat. So he develops a little bit of a little, little paunch. Little, little paunch. Um, he naps all day. And my favorite scene was him learning how to use the litter box mm. when he has to line up and just shit in front of a, like no privacy. Yeah, it's, right. And he's it's, like, have I really let myself go this much? But yeah, then yeah. he realizes there's kind of like a comfort in. Yeah. Routine. It's made well, to be prison. He's yeah. in a drunk tank. I I saw it as fully pastures drug. This was it because it was set to the oh. doors. This is the end. I to me that was an opium den scene. Oh. Wow. Let me say it again. Opium den. Wow. No that kidding. was Puss in Boots. Yeah. It's like this is the end. Okay. Do do do. And then when we see Puss in Boots, he has his face down in kibble, mm -hmm. and he's like, nom, nom, nom. and then like someone tries to talk to him. He's like, I am Puss in. Uh, never mind it. Like, ah, yeah. uh, screw it. And he goes back in. Like, he is fully on opium. Yeah. And that that's, is, okay. that is my that's, reading of that That's scene. great. Wow. And that's, that's the scene where we get to very... meet our cute little puppy friend. Oh, my God. Oh, we got to talk about him. Burrito. Burrito? Burrito. Oh, burrito, <laughs> which is Spanish for little, little dog. dog. Yeah. Um, I was my afraid favorite I was hate that character. wide eyed character I was, I've ever seen. I was also afraid I was going to hate that character. I, and, and I, by the way, almost did. Almost did. As soon as he introduced himself, of the guy from. Um, what, what we, we do, do in the, the shadows. shadows, Guillermo. Guillermo. 
Um, and yeah, when he when he came on screen, I was like, what the f I, I right. already oh, don't like it. Chihuahuas. I already don't like small dogs. When you're like, here's the DreamWorks. Yeah, here's exactly. the DreamWorks. Yes, 100%. Here's the DreamWorks like, of it all. Fine. Here's going to be the fucking annoying character comic that is relief. bouncing. Which comic is relief. training to be a, a therapy, therapy dog. dog. As soon as he mentioned that he was trying to be a therapy <laughs> dog, I was like, oh, this is... Elevation. I cried to... three times in this movie. Yeah. No, you did not. Yes, three? at your house. No, you did not. Yes. Yeah. What were the? What are the three? Oh, I will point did them you out. You cry? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I <got it. laughs> One was, and I, I, I'm, I'm jumping ahead here. Goldilocks finding out that she did have the perfect family. Uh, that the was Goldilocks one. characters yep. are the, the bears Goldilocks are so good. We'll, Lawrence, we'll yep. get into that later. That's a whole Wait, other that was fucking Florence thing. Pugh? Yes. That was Florence Pugh. Number two. The panic attack scene. Mm -hmm. The panic attack scene was, I think, the precipice <laughs> of this entire, or like the peak of this entire movie. I don't know what precipice means. I just threw it out there. It worked. It, it sounded pretty. Um, I thought that that was just so fucking well done. And then the third was uh, when he said, uh, I think I'm going to go with Perito. And wow. what my, my crying moment was when Perito finally rested his head on a panic attack That's thing. Panic attack. Yeah. 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 Where he finally put it down like Can we describe this does. scene? Because it's beautiful yeah. and really so, kind of incredible. Again, going back to my point, uh, or going not going back, but going back to the dog, going back to death himself, and going back to the fact that everything that he is involved with is the best parts of this movie. Everything that every time mm. he is on screen, it mm -hmm. either is the best scene of the movie or drives to a better scene in the movie. You're right. He sees death and he hear you, you hear the whistle. Mm -hmm. He's having a fight and he's having the time of his life and all that stuff. And then he realizes that he can die during this scene. Yeah. And then you hear the whistle. You see his the hair stand up on his on his um on his arms and back and head and all that stuff. He turns around, he sees death is um around the corner essentially right. or on his shoulder. And then he goes and he fucking runs. He has a panic attack. He's seeing death everywhere he goes and all that stuff. And then... And a really beautiful... Sorry to jump oh my, in, but a really yeah. beautiful depiction of panic attacks. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've only had a few in my life. Oh, but let me step in there. Jump in, Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> it's the queen of panic attacks who literally wrote a book on it. There it is. Uh, it's called Don't Fucking Panic. You can still get them in stores. Uh, <laughs> it's so well done. Oh, my your, God. Your heart rate, the heartbeat in your ears is happening... <laughs> So loud. He is short of breath, can't seem to breathe. His eyes go wide. His pupils dilate really heavily. He can't express himself. And he literally goes into fight or flight mode. And he, who is a cat that would normally fight, flights. So he runs away. Yeah. Yeah. The the, and the heartbeat that's driving in that scene. And the, he, the, the, the he, world changes. Yeah. The colors it's get all, very purple. It's, it's all you hear. Once he like fucking lays down, all you're hearing is his racing heartbeat. And then you see this cute ass little fucking dog mm. that you think you are going to hate. <laughs> and you're like, why the fuck is this little thing in the movie? Right. And then in that <laughs> one second, it is like, this is why he earns his spot in this fucking movie, you idiot. And he just looks around. And he's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm, I'm training to be a therapy dog. He's not saying any of this, but you're seeing it in the context right. of his eyes. And he's just like, uh, uh, uh. And then he gently and just quietly puts his head on his Puss's chest. rapid chest. And it is one of the most beautiful moments in cinema history <laughs> in it animation is, history is beautiful. by far it's so lovely and it's then very anti-dreamworks yes, yes. Right. <laughs> yeah it just, and then he just slowly starts to breathe he's slowly and, like yeah. and let's realizes. also mention this isn't the climax of the film no, no. Right. this is just i don't even think it's the i don't it's even think it's the dark the, of the night it might be the halfway point Honestly, of the fucking yeah. movie that's how good the fucking movie is and it just like that is a moment that yeah. normally in any other script would be like oh we gotta no we gotta, we gotta save this we gotta one. Make, yeah. and they're like no actually this is just a beautiful moment and yeah. we're gonna throw it in because it deserves to be in a film yeah and now we're gonna keep going and like there's if you if you go back and just listen to the sound design of him of the rapid uh heartbeat um and then of the labored breath, and then of him just calming down. The sound design in that moment is honestly really beautiful because you're just hearing him come back to himself where he's just like, oh, I'm breathing. And then you just hear like, you hear him like 
lick his lips or something like that. There's like wow. a bit of a. Eric's of a, watched this movie three times. Three yeah. times. <laughs> three fucking times. Because there's 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 just moments in it that you just want to in a week. <laughs> in a week. That you just want to fucking study. Like it's just like, oh my yeah. god. Oh, how did they pull this off? How did they get Antonio Banderas to have a panic attack <laughs> and then put that on screen. One other detail about Perito before we move on. Uh, you meet him. He's got these buggy eyes. He's wearing this raggedy sweater. Oh, God. <laughs> this is another moment that I kind of got, got, got teary. Please they continue. tell a story later about, oh my God, that. about it's like, oh, my, my brothers or what was it? My, my family? My, um, my litter mates. His litter. Like, mm. oh, they loved playing pranks on me. Like they would try and uh, you know, leave me and then I would go find them and one time <laughs> they put me in a sock and put it with rocks and they tried to drown me in a river haha <laughs> but then I got out and th his his litter mates literally tried to drown this dog in a sock because he was the runts of the litter because oh he's the God. runt of the litter he gnawed his way out of the sock and is still wearing, wearing that it. sock yeah. as an outfit to this day the Aww. fucking dog the is wearing a sweater that his his brothers tried to murder him. It's oh giving God. Dobby the elf. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You know. It's that is such an adult. That what an yes. adult theme. Yeah. Where he's just like, oh, because you're looking at him. He's this wearing whole time. his trauma. Aww. He's wearing it. Quite literally. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're watching this movie. And you're like, oh, he's got a cute little sweater. This right, is adorable. Right, right, right. And then yeah. you get the origin story. And then you get yeah. the origin story. And you're like, forgot oh, about that. Fuck. That, go, oh, fuck. that is not a cute sweater at all. That is the biggest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my God. Jack, I would love to hear a pleasure from you. Yes, please. I just want to say the, the fight <laughs> choreography was impeccable. Yeah. It had action scenes that I hadn't seen. I mean, like... Pre um, Spider Verse, I don't know when I've seen action scenes yeah. like that. Like cameras swiveling around the store, the 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 storyboard like animation we've talked about. Um, every fight scene with uh, with death, especially so the good. last one, like so good. when they're in that 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 ring of fire, the choreography in in that was just impeccable. Yeah. it was yeah. kept me on the edge of my seat in a way that I don't know when the last time. I, I felt like that. Maybe it was the fucking the raid too. I don't know, Fuck but yeah. like you know what Fuck I mean. Yes, like it was just Let's like go. this is a children's children's movie, this and the sword movie. play yeah. is exciting. Yeah, and they're they're using the raid as a reference. I love it. I I so like they're they're just their entire relationship between Puss in Boots and Death is. I mean, the way that he doesn't take him seriously at the beginning and then finally does take him seriously is an overarching theme throughout the entire movie. Mm -hmm. But you have this physical representation of death in general, and then he has to fight it at the end. Blah, blah, blah. At the end, like the, 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 the callback throughout of Puss in Boots dropping his sword and then um, death being like, pick it up. Let's fucking, let's actually, if we're going to do this, let's actually do this. You're take make this fun for me because I'm going to get you eventually, yeah. but I'm going to have fun while doing it because- It's, right. it's no had, fun if you run away, pick it it's up. It's no fun Let's if go. you have, yeah, you've done it it's eight beautiful. times. You, I, you've died eight times. I, the you grit, the going smile to on my face, I'm so excited. It's fucking, and then at the end when they fight and then Puss gets the better of him and then he drops his and he's like, pick it up. Dude. I was like, "Are you? Let's fucking go!" We bro. like cheered in the theater for I, that. I'm like, "Let's, yeah." Oh my perfect. god! Can we all get puss and boot tattoos? I would yeah. get a puss and boot tattoo. <laughs> oh, I, I would, would get, get this, it like, right the Avengers. Now. They all get yeah. like, we all the Avengers castmates. Yes. I would get the fucking rapier on on my arm. I don't give a shit. Honest to God, the color scheme in this movie. Yeah, oh my god! It's pretty the cool. Aurora borealis ness. Yeah. It's just of the last scene, the, like the, the, big, the climactic scene. scene. Talk this about makes rainbow for a tattoo. The climax is literally on a rainbow on, star on, yes. on fucking right uh, when on, you wish like upon said, a star it's Road. the star you wish upon yeah it's it's fucking sick bro. like <laughs> i i gotta look this up like, if anyone's gone do you guys this. understand we're trying to just let you know like are even, you still even listening to us just, go watch puss and yes. boots too in this in the it, it, like are just you gonna watch it rainy well okay so this is my question so we are at 50 minutes, so we should what? Have Oh my God. Don't you Fastest dare. I know. There is ever. no way that we're at 50 minutes, Rainy. We fully are at 50 minutes. I'll, I mean, there is that present thing, but I feel oh, like that was that five was minutes. like a good seven minutes. <laughs> that was a while. Yeah. yeah, I actually think that was like half the time, so we have to keep going. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but here's my question, because the way you're describing it, it sounds so harrowing and so sad. 
Like it I, is. Oh, it's yeah, kind of yes, fucked up. But let's also. I mean, I'm glad you said that because yeah. it is also hilarious. It's very. It's. Oh, it's I'm sorry. Super it's funny. I'm so sorry. Funny. It is very funny. It is very entertaining. All of the fight scenes are. Talk sick. about John Mulaney's character. John Mulaney's character is very fun. Talk about Jimmy Jack Cricket. Horner. And, oh my god, oh, Jimmy Cricket. fucking Cricket. There's just yeah. so many fucking moments. If Garrett, oh my god. There's if there's so Garrett much was an anime about. character. I think it's the Cricket. Yeah, there, there is. Okay, so <laughs> you're awful. You're, you're horrible. You're horrible. Like, <laughs> you, you have John Mulaney as little little Jack, Jack Horner, Horner. Horner. Who little Jack Horner who sat in the corner. Pie? I thought was the eating weakest a, of the characters. Eating but, his sure. and yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I love John Mulaney as a voice actor. He's the most Jewish sounding non-Jew in the world. Yeah. Uh, I actually think he did a great job in this. Yeah. So um, but he is this. He's so this funny. Big boy grown up, and he He's like has an egg with. Arms and legs. And he has uh he has his baker's dozen. He's got this bottomless uh pack of <laughs> yeah. of different movie references and you know actually here's something too that shocked me is that we're what five movies into the Shrek franchise? No, six. Because we have the four and then two, two poops. This right. is the six yes. in the Shrek franchise. And they still have really good fairy tale jokes. Yeah. I thought still. about that too. Yeah. Yeah. Then that, that I was like, oh, also, that's funny. Oh, that's new. That's funny. It's also fun because there's like so many callbacks to the Shrek movies. There's, um, I was going to say Pocahontas, Pinocchio, yeah. um, who was like his, I guess, uh, rival when, right. when coming up. Right. And then there's also a really subtle one where at the end of the second Shrek movie, um, the fairy godmother turns into bubbles and disappears and drops her wand. Uh -huh. And then little or big Jack Horner has the wand. No kidding. Fun. Oh. He, has the, he has the wand and he he hits a um a pumpkin and then it turns into his bakery. We thing. just became new rock stars. Whoa. Look at us. It's fucking sick. Yeah. We're doing a deep dive. Yeah. Yes, I have to rewatch Pussy Boots. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking, oh, it's so good. If you good. weren't already, what yeah, are you? Yeah. 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 But yeah, we have my, our favorite character, I think, is so he pulls out of his endless sack. He has, <laughs> now go locust. <laughs> and it's like little Jiminy locust. Cricket, a, a guy, I don't know oh, who. No. Ethical bug. Ethical is bug <laughs> doing his fucking title. Doing is. the best Jimmy Stewart impression. Oh my and God. And he's like, well, I'm your conscience. I'm your conscience. I, I sit on so your fun. shoulder and I tell you what's right or wrong. I, I, I don't I have any magical you. powers at all, actually. Yeah. He's just in it for a couple scenes until we've he said He steals it. every scene he's in, though. He, we've said it a couple oh times God. where he finally just goes, Breaks. he points at him. The whole screen goes comic book red with like 2D animation. Oh. And he goes, you're horrible. <laughs> you're so he's he like, broke oh, Jiminy Cricket. Oh my God, that was horrible. You're horrible. No, <laughs> he, horrible he, person. He gets deep, and it's just so fucking funny. I'm sorry. Like old DreamWorks would never, ever no, do that. No, they right? could never ruin the illusion. Yeah. Right. And they subverted it on like, its head. And thank God, because animation was really getting stale. I think it's yeah. part of the reason why like this um, Disney movie that came out in like November or December, what was it? Strange World? Uh -huh. yeah. Strange World yeah. bombed so fucking hard. The movie they refused to market. market. They didn't market right. it. Right. But like if you look at every single trailer, it looks like every... I don't know, animated Disney movie from the last 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Like, yeah. right? Like, we're it's just, just, we're done. We're, we're, we're done. Little, we're over it. We're over it a so little what, bit. Someone had to take the, it's just funny that it yeah. came from the sequel to a spin off franchise. Yeah. But yeah. goddamn, does it deliver? Because, okay, so I, I have this theory with um, stand up as well, where whenever you see somebody getting an hour special and you have no idea where the fuck they came from, uh -huh. you know that somebody, some executive, saw this hour and was just like, hey, I know you don't know who this is, and I know that we can't market them as a star or something like that, but we need to put this on our fucking television. You uh, don't network. know them? Mm. You about to. You are about yeah. to. Mm. So them making this 11 years after the original, somebody read the script and somebody saw like i guess a little piece of it and was just like this is going to be the best thing that we've done <laughs> yeah. we have we ha we literally have to we have we have to put it upon ourselves to make good things and i think that this is one of them and i think that this is fucking beautiful i think um a lot of the chris miller and, and phil lord movies do that with uh cloudy with a chance of meatballs mm -hmm. the lego movie where it's just like i i know we don't <laughs> need this but Based off of what they are putting forth and the good foot that they're putting forward, we need to make this. Here's why this is a brilliant move for a yeah. lot of reasons. As a creative person, like the team behind this, I mean, this director fucking rules. Yeah. Yeah. Take a franchise that no one has eyes on. At all. And that is the Lord and Miller uh, blueprint, yeah. right? Yeah. They took on Cloud of the Chance of Meatballs. That's going to suck. Actually, no, it's going to be one of the best animated movies ever made. Lego movie. Who the, why the fuck are you going to do that? Actually, it's going to be fucking incredible and beautiful. 21 Jump Street, why would you make that? They just over-deliver 
under promise over deliver so now you have puss in boots too 11 years later no one's asking for it that means you can take some risks yeah it's yeah. a good point so as a creative you now have free reign to go for it yeah. and really try something but even better yeah and i'm gonna put a pin in this and i'm gonna tell you what happens at the end of this movie because the the adventure is over they're on a boat and you hear da 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 Zach da, lost da, his da, mind. Da, da. He lost his mind. <laughs> I, I can only picture. The camera pans and you see what is it called? Never far, near, far away. Far, far away. The Shrek universe. Yeah. And you know in that moment that Shrek Five is coming, baby. <laughs> it is happening. Yeah. And, and it I, is gonna look good. Gonna look if so it has anything good. to do with this director, oh my god, oh, it's yeah. gonna be amazing. They, they I am so embarrassed. In. Yeah. But I'm not embarrassed to tell you how excited I got. Oh, Zach wow. was in stitches, literally. Yeah. On, can't walk on his leg <laughs> on painkillers and jumped out of his chair. I, I went oh, fucking go. Fuck. <laughs> and then. And like after it was over, he was like, but did you guys see that part? Yeah. Oh We're getting a Shrek 5. That is more excited than I've ever been for any Marvel post credits yeah. tease yes. ever. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that is why this is brilliant now, because you took a franchise that we didn't care about. You took a movie that had no eyeballs on it. You over delivered. And now we have gone from meme from Via yeah. Jack's films of yeah. Shrek 5 to <laughs> literally frothing at the mouth. Being yeah. like, and like, truly, I am so stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah. For for something that we didn't need. <laughs> but yeah. for whatever but it's reason. bringing we're... animation back to mainstream, back to children, back to adults getting excited to take their kids. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the same thing with Spider-Verse did. It was yeah. like, oh shit, this is sick as fuck. We can put money behind this. Yeah. We can put marketing behind this. Down I haven't seen Puss in Boots really marketed that heavily except for posters. Yeah, yeah I just saw but the posters. Word, mm -hmm. of the, word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Is um, that. Let's do some uh, a lightning round. You got Salma Hayek as Kitty Softpaws. She's wonderful. Of course. Nothing more to say. She's great. Goldilocks and Three Bears. Florence Hilarious. Pugh. We got the, yeah. they, they're, they're like a British Cockney fight gang. club. But it's also right. bears. I mean, they're fucking like Goldilocks characters. and the Three Bears. Yes. I mean, yeah, lightning round. They are a very very touching story. Yes. Yeah. Where <laughs> she is. I know. I'm trying to. Do Rainey's note of like reminding people that it is funny, but no, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. You don't really it's just know like, where it's going either. You don't like, know where it's going. Yeah. You're like, why is why why are they here? Are they good? Are they right, bad? Right. I don't understand. Blah blah blah. But they're just they're another just player trying to, be a family. trying to get a wish. Um, Goldilocks is secretly trying to wish for a Her human family. family. Mm -hmm. um, the bears do not know that. They she they find out that that's what she's trying to get her wish for, and then they they're still sad. try to get her wish. Right? They support because her. They like, yeah. support her. They love her we and love all you. that stuff. Yeah. And then she realizes if she you had really a family here the whole time. If you really think this is going to make your life better, we oh stand God. by you. Oh my God! Oh my I'm ashamed God. to admit I thought one of the bears was James Corden, and I was. <laughs> I, I was did like, too. Fuck. I thought upset? it was baby it was like bear. A, it kind of it kind of angered me a little bit, but then I was very relieved to IMDb that he has no involvement. Nothing to do with it. Yeah. At all. Uh, again, I don't think we said enough about like the colors and the world and the universe that they put this in, but yeah. like they didn't I mean, fucking have to, but they fucking did. The, the dark woods so as a whole, the dark woods, like just the fact that it shifted who oh, for so whoever cool. was Sick holding the map. What a genius idea! And well, can you explain and that? A, I'll, I'm gonna try. Like, yeah, what it, it, so everyone has this map. It's like the the, the wish the map. map, and um, depending on who looks at the map, the terrain surrounding you changes to like based off yeah. your heart, right? Yeah, 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 right. So when Perito looks at the looks at the map, it's all, all candy land. Right. Yeah, and it's rainbows. hilarious. It's like a great little punchline. But that was a really cool visual element. I really mean, smart. In a movie. Again, they didn't them. have to do that. They didn't right. have to shift the world into. They didn't. This fucking but it was, Leonardo DiCaprio. What's that movie called? Inception S movie, yeah. but they inceptionized. Pussy but it was it was a beautiful way to uh, add traversal to a movie nice. where yeah. one thing just it, where they're in one place. Right. Um, we use so traversal also, as a noun and a verb. Yeah. yeah. It also went to one of my favorite jokes where in Perito's world there was just like a field of flowers. Yeah. You just had to be nice to you had to stop and smell, smell the, the flowers. flowers. You had to stop yeah. and smell the roses because like, we talked about this. It taught. This one was teaching kids about mindfulness. And yeah. everything yeah. about this movie was about being in the present. Yeah. And or he's you, like, you have to stop. And, and smell if the roses. you don't stop and smell the roses, you then die. one of the flowers will literally go <laughs> up, <laughs> yeah. suck your body, and leave a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so fucking funny. Oh Bring dark God. for kids movie. Oh yeah. I can't believe this is PG. Yeah, it was very dark. No business. It was very, very dark. Um, see it, see it, see it, see it. Um, I'm trying to think. There, there was one joke where they said, "I'm gonna, 
I, I may have written this down incorrectly. Cut you from pooter to scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was which was which also led to a very funny scene of Perito thinking that he d- he was uh, now in a roasting war. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was secretly very dirty because he somebody tried to drown him as a pup. Uh, so he has a dark backstory. So um, him saying I'm gonna cut you from pooter to scooter, or is that the mom who said that? I don't remember. No, I just it, wrote it down. I'm sorry. You've Pooter. seen it three times. Come on. Yeah, I think it's a Pooter Scooter. He's been intoxicated. Um, yeah, and but then they, have, they have a joke where Perito has like a really filthy mouth and they bleep him they out. They bleep him. Right. And normally I'd be like, what a fucking hacky joke. It works, it works. It works so, so hard. It works so well. It's so funny. Um, because he swears before. Um, he says uh, people called him little piece of shit or something like that. Uh, yeah. And then it's just like, oh, they bleeped that. And it's like, oh, God, Jesus. I guess he just doesn't know. He's that. A, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's ignorant swearing. of bliss. Anything else we missed? No, give us fun facts. Um, if you let Garrett go, he will keep going. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> well, we've talked about pleasures. Now it's time to talk about guilt. Just kidding. This movie doesn't yeah, fucking it doesn't have, have any. Doesn't have any. It's a perfect film. Welcome to Pleasure Month, where we're just watching yeah. dope shit. <laughs> No more of this bad movie. Y'all ready for some fun facts? Yes, please. Yeah. So Guillermo del Toro, Mr. GDT himself, was an executive producer and had a small part on Puss in Boots 2011. Wow. wow. And I, so during an interview with Gold Derby late last month, Crawford, the director, revealed that del Toro did consult on this second <gasps> oh, film. Wow. Nice. Uh, okay, there it is. And so, so you've got the ethical bug, uh, who's obviously uh, based on Jiminy Cricket, uh, the talking cricket from Pinocchio. So then you have Jack Horner That's complaining Jack. about being upstaged by Pinocchio, and which is a hilarious meta joke when you consider that this film had to compete with three different Pinocchio adaptations earlier in 2022. You know, actually, oh. so we, we did Pinocchio last week, and I think we mentioned like weird that there have been two Pinocchio movies. There's a third. No, there's yeah. a third. There's a there's fourth a Russian one, and yeah. I, there might be a fifth. There have been so many Pinocchio yeah. projects. Wild. Is, is, it, is it because did well i don't know if it became public domain uh this recently or or whatever but um i'm guessing that's why and that's why everybody wanted to make a movie about it, it i don't know did it go into the public domain? I, I have one no of idea. those things i have no idea weird like one like that that hive mind where like you know um ants in a bug's life or whatever well that's not yeah, hive mind. That's like yeah 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 stealing. parallel thinking that was weird though a yeah lot of Pinocchios. a lot of Pinocchios in, in the same one. year yeah, only yeah, one good one. Fair. The Russian one. <laughs> uh, the filmmakers did cite The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly as an influence on the film, as we mentioned, as it yeah. shows. Uh, they're all, quote, they're all after the ultimate fairy tale prize. Everybody feels they have to have the wish, which really just leads to a great moment of action adventure with great momentum. By the way, I don't think enough people in our generation have watched The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. You should watch it. It holds up so... Yeah. It is mm. such a phenomenal movie. I mean, all those spaghetti westerns, really anything that any of Morricone uh, scored, uh, all the Sergio Leone films, blah, blah, blah. They're phenomenal. Go go watch yourself yeah. a badass western. What's a spaghetti western? western? Uh, spaghetti western were the westerns that were filmed in Italy. Oh. So they are American films, but they were filmed in Italy. They're, I mean, Sergio Leone is the most famous director, but a lot of the Clint Eastwood films were filmed in Italy. Oh, yeah. figure. And they use yeah. spaghetti for all the instruments. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah, they, they have tightly wound spaghetti, and they ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, you know, it's funny. I say Spaghetti Western so much that until you ask, I'm like, what, do I know the answer? Oh, I do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're in Italy. Yeah. Um, and this is the first animated feature, Florence Pugh, not the last. I I oh, didn't I know that. how much I loved how uh, Florence Pugh says mama. Mama? <laughs> but I did mama. Mm. I was like, oh, yeah, like this. <laughs> I like her voice. Is she British? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I just never know. Yeah. Them Brits, you can't friggin'. Yeah. Is she the one in Don't Worry Darling? Uh, yeah. No. No, she's yeah. American in Don't Worry Darling. Oh, is she British in she, No, but she's she American. is the one in it. Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. The one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. From the hit, hit film. Yeah. Oh, God. It was bad. Did you watch? Oh, yeah. You missed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, now is the time where we need to decide. Just kidding, motherfucker. It's a, yeah. pleasure. It's a pleasure. No one's given this yeah, anything but an absolute pleasure. Um, We're getting tattoos of it. It's still. I still feel like the movie's underrated. I still feel yeah, like people yeah. do not believe us. I promise you, if you watch this and you find a gripe with it, 
um, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're truly lying to yourself. You are you are trying to find yeah. something to be a contrarian to be, play devil's advocate, and you're also you're an wrong. And you you're, don't need to see the first one. You don't. No. You don't no. need to be familiar with the Shrek no, films because the boys. I never trust them when they say you, you can just watch a sequel because usually they're lying to mm -hmm. me. <laughs> this one really just stands on its motherfucking own. It was feet. a surprise of the year. I stands think. on its own yeah. two boots. Is dude. it gonna win an award? I, I don't I don't think it will yeah. nominate for I, best animated feature, but it won't win. Well, it should. Pinocchio. Pinocchio will win. Yeah, yeah. Pinocchio will win because it's a technical achievement. Right. I when I tell you that this is not just a great film, this is this might have this might be my top five movies <gasps> of the year. I think that when time, I mean, everything, everywhere, all at once will be the movie I rewatch the most. This damn well will be the second. Yeah. Like I will rewatch the fuck out of this movie. Yeah. It is funny. It is exciting. It's very funny. It, I mean, the action rules. The animation is beautiful. This, I, guys. There's a lot to love. Yeah. There's, there's a little something for everyone. Yeah. I need you. The art is stunning. So it's beautiful. beautiful. It's all in you like. You don't understand. I feel like we're arguing with someone who's not arguing back. <laughs> like, yeah. No, because we have we're them arguing. pinned against the wall by the, yeah. the fucking wall. They're like, I'll fucking watch the movie, okay? Hey, I feel like we're arguing, we're arguing against the stipulation of this being a children's movie. Yes, because movie. I was someone yeah. who was like, I do not want to watch this. I'm yeah. interested in watching it, and I'm worried that people are going to see Post and Boots and not listen to this yeah. episode. And I'm here to say, Listen to the episode. Yeah. It's too late, Kelsey. This is the end of the episode. Oh, cut <laughs> Just cut that clip out for social media then. Play it before. Yeah. No, I'm like, I'm mad because I know you don't yeah. believe us. Good this night. is great. Oh, God. Are uh, we doing my pleasures? Oh, right. We have another segment, Jack. Uh, this is, okay. Do rapid fire. No, I mean, I, we got them. Uh, okay. We're putting you on the spot here, but this is our new segment, My Pleasures, Other Things in Media that You Are Enjoying, Any Type of Media. Uh, Kelsey will kick us off. I saw Babylon. Oh, yeah. It is Ooh. the length of Avatar. Right. And I that alone was going to make me not see it. The fact that it wasn't getting greatly reviewed, the fact that it's Damien Chazelle, which like some people were like, bleh, about. Throw it all out the window. This movie fucks without a condom and <laughs> comes all over your fucking face. Oh, my God. It is. Is got the best party scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Damn. It is colorful. It is the history of cinema. It is meta upon meta in itself. Some would argue the last like two minutes of the film are the worst part of the film, which yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I'll just leave you with this. Okay. You Avatar is in the film. Uh -oh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, it was so good. Wait, what? It I'm, I'm the, intrigued. The, the Babylon is the like the Airbender? history of, no, the, the blue one. It is the history of cinema in like the early days in the 20s and how Hollywood went from um, silent films to the, the talkies. Right. And it is so fucking good. I it, It's one of my favorites of the year. Damien Chazelle is so interesting. I mean, he's such a phenomenal director. Yeah. Uh, I love La La Land. I really so if I, you like La La Land. Well, I hate actually, La La Land. I think there's an but effect. Whiplash, but Whiplash, I, I adore. I think Whiplash is one of the best I've heard if you time. like La La Land, you're, you like this less. But if you didn't like La La Land that much, you, you're you going to fuck with Babylon, which oh, no. I, okay. I did not love So La La he La had a quote that I love because it's... It's divisive. Yeah. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's uh, it's around like a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, but is also on the like many year-end best of lists. It uh, will be nominated for several Oscars, I assume. Mm -hmm. And he had a quote where he's like, good, more movies should be divisive. Ooh. And yeah. I fucking love that. That's so great. whether good I like him. it or not, like I want to, I'm dying it's to see it. See it in a theater. For sure. It's worth seeing in a theater. Get okay. a big comfy chair because you can be there for three hours, but right. it did not feel like three hours. I could have gone longer. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Go sick. Me? Um, the Last of Us TV show. Hell yeah. Uh, it is based off of the video of the popular video game The Last of Us. Um, I think that although they kept on saying we are breaking the video game to uh television slash movie curse, right. um, I don't believe that is true. Uh, I think a, a bunch of properties have done that already, but this can now go in line with that. Uh, in that company of like Castlevania or or what have you, um, yeah, Written it's a Craig, really Craig Mazin who did Chernobyl. Craig Mazin who did Chernobyl. Where's it on? It's on HBO. It's a fantastic uh, retelling of the game. It's it's really good. It has a bunch of scenes from the game in it. So people are just like, oh fuck, they're doing the fucking uh, Leo meme uh -huh. at at the screen. Uh, it's great. It's great. It's really good. Uh, I'm gonna miss next week or last week's episode. I don't know which one it is. Uh, where Next week? Okay, you guys are doing Megan. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give two. I'm going to first shout out at Crocs on social hey. media. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for my 
right, a, a, a. And I got one that is way late, and I forgot to do this a million times. It's a Christmas thing, <laughs> so my bad. Uh, but Yule Log on HBO slash It's an Adult Swim thing. Uh, this is for a very specific type of person. It is by uh, the guy who made Too Many Cooks. <laughs> oh, uh, and it is one of the weirdest, most insane things you'll ever see. The premise is it's a Yule Log. And okay. the story goes from there. Um, this is not for the faint of heart. What oh. is a Yule Log? A Yule Log is the uh, Christmas time fire video. Oh. You know, of just a video of a fireplace that yeah. goes for, for hours and hours. It's okay. not a cake, Kelsey. Okay, my mind is <laughs> But you know, like every Christmas you have that that video of you just put the, the fireplace up. So this is that. Oh, shit. Oh, and it no. starts off as that. Like when you fire it up, it looks like. It's just a Yule Log. Okay, HBO, whatever. And, and it, it is wild. Oh, no. If it's, I mean, if nothing else, I mean, again, it's that Too Many Cooks tone. So if that's not for you, I'm not, this is not for everybody. But so, it Too is Many very, Cooks fully tripped me out. Like, yeah. I, it creeped this me will trip out. you out even very, more. I'm very terrified of it. it. It's sort of just an incredible writing exercise of like, how do you take this constraint and make something? So really cool. Can my guilty pleasure be a video game? Hell it's yeah. It's a pleasure. Okay. Oh, just, ple I'm just a pleasure. Yeah. Nothing guilty about it. Um, ever since um, Elden Ring came out, I've been trying to scratch that itch because like, I put hundreds of hours in this game and I just needed something like it. And then I discovered a game that's not new at all, but I never touched before for no reason. It's called Hollow Knight and it goes hard. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> when I say a game like Elden Ring, I mean a game where you can just explore you it there's kind of a story but not really you don't really play it for, for for the story at least i certainly don't like it's there if you want to read it but uh um and this game is basically elden ring but like 2d all you do is explore and you're in this giant cave and things just keep getting deeper and deeper Ooh, and spooky. darker and weirder and my favorite part about elden ring was um stumbling into a new region that totally by accident and you keep thinking to yourself, I should not be here. Mm. Like you're overpowered by way too powerful enemies and stuff. And this game is just like that. You just waltz into a cave system. You don't know which way is up or down. And all of a sudden you're getting your ass kicked and you're like, I should not be here. And I love that. And I love, I miss that exploratory sense in video games and I got it. But again, this game is not new. It's like, I don't know, five, 10 years old, whatever. Oh, wow. But yeah. um, I love it. Uh, I'm playing it on the Switch. I think you can play on like everything. Yeah. Sick. Right. Hello, 96. I I have a problem with the open world video games because I feel like I need to explore need to everything. Yeah. And so what I like, I I actually had to stop playing Zelda because mm. I was no longer playing the quest. I just would get to a point and be like, okay, what if I go out this way? Now what if I go? And I would like try and track 360. I just needed uh. to, I needed to fill the entire map. Yeah. And it's, it's, it made me uncomfortable how obsessed I was with yeah. that. It, 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 but it's great. I mean, right, right, right. You have to cut yourself off because Zach, eventually you don't need you're to be going into video games. To... That's what I'm saying. I, I, yeah. I have too much of an obsessive personality. Yes. I, lo I lose myself. Yeah. Got it. In the music, the moment you <laughs> want it. Yeah, 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 yeah nice. Go. Uh, Jack, what are you up to? I mean, I know you're up to a ton. Where can people find you? But what are you working on right now? I'm working on rewatching Puss in Boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all this week. I got to catch up to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm doing uh, some fun things. Uh, where my wife and I are working on bringing back our podcast. It's called Aaron is the Funny One. Hell yeah. yeah. Coming out it. soon. Other than that, I don't know. I'm trying to put together a little uh, live show on Twitch <gasps> where it's like a little live game show. You can win prizes and there are stakes and we have guests. So Ooh, stay tuned for that. I love steak. Maybe us? Yeah, yeah. play your cards right. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a do you have an aim launch? Is it February, March? When's that coming? Late January. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, soon. So this time. So by the time this comes, yeah. I mean this is gonna come out in a week or two. So fuck yeah. yeah. Great. Um Jack, where can people find you? I mean YouTube at Jack's Films and um that handle everywhere else. Twitch, Twitter, pick your poison. <laughs> Wait, can you also tell your reaction videos, your reaction to reaction <laughs> videos <laughs> is so upsetting to me <laughs> and so upsetting how much I enjoy them. Uh, <laughs> Jack, Jack has been taking reaction videos that people do yeah. and then cutting himself into it That's so funny. as if he's one of the other characters. <laughs> and it is so, you. so deeply stupid on Thank another you. level. <laughs> and what also is horrible, I mean, it's a, correct me if I'm wrong, a meta commentary on why the fuck do these perform so well? Yes. Yeah. And That's they all it is. That's all it is. really well. Of course well, they do. It's, so that that one you can find me at Judge Jack's films with three J's. <laughs> it's very okay. different. Um, thank you. My favorite thing is taking a five minute 
reaction video and stretching out to half an hour because oh, I keep pausing it. That money. I had, and it's really fun. I had uh, I had zero like um, worthwhile commentary. I'll just pause and go. You know she's right, and I just <laughs> I just mansplain everything that happens. It's a lot of fun. But so, they really do really well. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Was there a part of you that was like? Were you excited or was it part did part of you die where you're like, oh no, it's working? No, no, no. I want like I wanted to like give up everything else I did and <laughs> just do that for the rest of my life. And that didn't pan out, but uh, you know, it's still fun you to can do. Still dream. For, for a beautiful moment in time. Yeah, yeah. 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 You'll always have J Jack's films. Well, that's a fucking banger of an episode. <laughs> Go I'm, watch, I'm tired. Go I can't. watch Puss in Boots too. Yeah. Go watch Puss in Boots too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And sure. and I would say if you're gonna rent it at home. Buy it. Pay the extra five bucks. Yeah. It's five bucks. Yeah. Okay. You'll watch it again. Skip your latte today and buy Puss in Boots. Or go see it in theaters. Yeah. yeah. Support your local cinema. Support your local AMC conglomerate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Gordon Day on all things. I'm Kelsey Dara on all things. I'm Garrick Bernard on all the things. And until next time, you're horrible. You're horrible. <laughs> Perfect.